been a great weekend. We've had a great time. But I got to tell you, one of the hits of the show has been this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous zenith. And, of course, it's professionally built and professionally crafted. Why don't you tell us the story about all the professionals who built it? Yeah, thank you. So uh, about, about uh, two years ago, Sun and Fun 2019, uh, we got a phone call from the loading dock here Monday of the show. They said, hey, you got a big old box out here in the parking lot. So we went out there, and it's a Zenith Aircraft Fragile on the side of it. <laughs> so we brought it into the museum, and the high school kids opened it up. It was this Zenith 750 Cruiser kit. You know, after the show, we got all the pieces and parts organized and, and inventoried. The students from the Central Florida Aerospace Academy and I, I have some older volunteers as well. We put it together in about two years. It was a lot of fun. You have a rough idea of how many man hours involved? We stopped counting at 2,000. You know, you can build it a lot faster than that, but there's a couple features on the airplane that are very custom and involve two or three or four iterations of a part before we were comfortable with saying this is professional and this is a piece that is going to last a long time and it's going to be safe and it's proper for this aircraft. Plus, it was a teaching project. Absolutely. Sun and Fun hired me three years ago to be a mentor to those high school kids, and uh, I never miss an opportunity to take what they've learned in school and share it in the real-world application. Those kids get SolidWorks certifications at 14, 15 years old, and I would scribble something out on a piece of paper, and they would come back to me the next day with this digital file, and, hey, what do you think of this? And I envy that. That's inspiring to me. Very rewarding when the students come back and, and teach me something about what they're learning. And then uh, Gulf Coast Avionics, they have a panel cutter over in their shop. So we took the file over them and they cut it out on their machine. And the next day we had a manufactured part in-house designed and assembled by 17, 16, 17-year-old kids. Now one of the things that I was very glad to see is you have a very strong connection with Able Flight. So tell me what you're doing in that regard. Our chairman of the board, Rick, he's very passionate about the Able Flight program. And at the time, they were looking to expand to a third campus. Mm -hmm. So we became that option for them. And the more and more we thought about it, the more and more it made sense. Everything we do already with, with the Youth Aviation Scholarships, this was just another platform for us to expand on some of the really just amazing things we do in aviation already. Mm -hmm. When this project came about, I had this thing drawn in my head as if I were to build it myself. The hand controls were just a bonus that, to add to what we had scribbled in our head, but I'm so amped up that this airplane is now going to be part of a program that helps people with physical disabilities how to fly. Outstanding. So what's the future of all this? I don't know. If I had a crystal ball, I would hope that we have two to three airplanes in the next couple of years. I think once we start getting full steam ahead, we're going to get some flight instructors in here and start pushing it really hard. Once we figure out the recipe, if you will, of success, I envision two to three airplanes on at a minimum. We've had another couple uh, manufacturers have come out here, expressed interest. How can we help? How can we you know, be part of this? So um, I don't know where that'll take us in, in a couple of years, but I'm hoping that uh, like I said, with all the success stories we have, uh, 153 young adults are uh, private pilots now. I'm hoping that Able Flight is just another, I'm hoping that number continues to grow over, you know, to, I, I'm biased. I'd love to say we're going to beat that number, but uh, the, the, as we say, the sky's the limit. But um, I, I think nothing but success is going to come out of this program, and it, it, it really is what motivates me to get out of bed. It's, it's just a lot of fun to, to be part of it. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details.